excited about this project uh, for, for many reasons. The size of the project, the scope of the project, and being able to work with a contractor that wanted to experiment and do some high-end building here. So what you're looking at is his mechanical room. And the mechanical room consists of a power wall um, and a hot water wall. There will be a water wall from the well. I can't, I'm not really going to show you that in this model. So this is a dual Solark 8Ks. This was before the 12K came out, so that's why we're doing non-stackable 8K inverters. And you can see two battery banks. We tried to make it as symmetric as possible. We had a limitation here. This is where the solar is coming through. You saw the solar on the barns for phase one, and now the solar is being brought through into the basement in these two through these two holes. So one barn is one three-inch conduit. The other barn is the other three-inch conduit. And then we were given a constraint of this 210 inches. So the SketchUp model has been really, really helpful. Uh, just trying to come up with a way to get all of our components in the, in the mech room to get them to fit, to have them look nice, to have them look as symmetric as possible. Um, but then also to work with the contractors. We're working with a geothermal contractor on the hot wall where to bring the piping in from the chillers to this buffering tank and this domestic hot water tank and then also the plumbing for the sun bandit tank so there's a lot going on in the hot water wall on the power wall we're working with the electrician on where to bring the wires down into which panels so the two panels on the right are the grid panels the two panels on the left are the critical loads panels and then we have a generator interface that we have to control by the two solar arcs based on the condition of the battery so long story short this is been a fantastic tool to share with the homeowner, the contractor, and each one of his subcontractors of where we would like plumbing located, glycol loops located, solar located, all the um, electrical runs out to the meter base to work with the utilities. So we've never really been able to do this before where we are kind of driving uh, which way the, the design's going to go. We usually have to come in retroactively and try to make things fit. But this time we were able to actually uh, work with the contractors and be the driving force of how to put this system together. My overall goal is to run this house, which is about 4,000, well, almost 5,000 square foot, foot on the roof, um, on less than 50 amps of power. Even though he has a 400 amp service, I think we can run everything, heating and cooling and lights, refrigeration, well pumps, and under 50 amps, which is unheard of. Every motor, every compressor is soft start or an inverter type motor compressor. So that's where most energy goes in starting up a home is in um, these large loads. So we've um, designed a system and we found a customer that was willing to work with us to try out all of our goodies. So uh, here we go. So phase one is taking this design and actually implementing it on a day-by-day -day basis with the contractors that I'm in contact with. So stay tuned for phase two. Hey folks, Engineer 775. This is a, a fun day here working with the, with the crew. And we are trying, we're always trying new products, aren't we, gents? And the latest, greatest product is the Rooftech Mini. Look at this base. This is kind of like the quick bolt move on a metal roof kind of it's got a butyl strip underneath you can put five screws in there you don't have to hit a rafter but you can it's always a preference to hit the rafter Johnny boy is following the manual to the T and uh, caulking around he even brought bronze caulk how'd you do that it's clean living clean <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Although Got a, I do have somebody around here thinks it's cool to put one screw in. Who did that? Antonio? Antonio's just, just setting it up. So we're going to be putting a 3 by 14 array here, a 10 kW, basic 11 kW for the Solark, and then we have an ACDC mini split. So this is the old style 5V barn tin. So we had to come up with a, a better attachment. Uh, on that roof over there, we're going to have our ace clamps because that's standing seam. A little bit easier, but this is these things are amazingly strong. Could never rip this thing off of here. It's my 
commute to work on a 65 foot boom lift pretty nice up here in Tennessee everything's getting double checked getting ready to mount these panels checking out all the bolts are tight and all these feet again these are the RT minis really clean super strong really like this mounting and everybody's really happy with this ultra rail for assembly seems to be really good well we just got a little hailstorm snuck up on us good thing they got their cougar paws on not that that will really we're not trusting the cougar paws but they're definitely helping it's very slick right now we just got hit with hail good morning on day three we're getting uh, set up here we didn't quite finish our array yesterday because the a hailstorm snuck up on us and got us off the roof so we are getting started here you can see that we got a 3 by 14 array for a solar arc and a mini split and see the sun's already up on the array and looking good and it's 8 30 in the morning so this is going to be a good morning roof and uh, we're getting set up here we're getting good all right so we're going to get 12 more panels on this roof and then we'll start the other roof today we'll get uh, and this one's a standing seam metal roof so we know that move with our ace clamps our a2ns and we'll reposition everything hopefully we'll be done with this building so this is a big job for us 92 panels so we won't be we're coming we're doing it in two phases we'll get all 92 panels up and landing landed and disconnects and as you can tell and you can hear it's new construction so they're not quite ready for us to put the batteries and inverters in but we do meet with the electrician today on the placement of panels and things so these are fun when we can start a job from scratch new construction work with the contractors it saves us a lot of time and the job looks a lot nicer all right the roof's a little bit wet so we're doing some things on the ground that we can take care of like we should have done i should have done these yesterday land these but they're they're hot now we're no no more plasma balls here um, that disconnect on the right is so this ACDC and the other two are for the solar and then we're going to be pulling a two inch conduit over to the mech room which is in the basement which they've already made those penetrations so we are I don't think we're doing that part so they'll trench and put a two inch conduit in there and then when we get back on phase two yes I'm very thankful we don't have to that they're doing that for us. We'll have two pipes coming from two barns into one mech room with two inverters and 40 batteries and it goes on and on. All right, day three flying our first batch of panels up on the roof. Just liking these lifts. These lifts help so much. This is a 65 foot boom lift, a Genie S65 from H&E Equipment. And uh, H&E Equipment's where I got my Yanmar Mini, and they're also obviously a rental company. And uh, so, just able to call them up and have one delivered to the job site just about anywhere in the southeast. I'm not sure how far they go, but H&E Equipment's treated me real well, and uh, it's been great. So this allows a gravitationally challenged ground man to be a roof guy. That would be me. So, and it's nice to be able to get in behind the guys, safety-wise, to have this lift. Yes, it's expensive. It's $1,125 a week, but it does a lot of work. Again, we're doing like 27 kilowatts. That's where we're going next. So, it's a small price to pay for safety and uh, just getting the job done well. When everybody's not stressed out, hanging off of a rope, they do a better job. Anyway, there's our penetration there. We're taking our home runs down for the 11.2K Solark plus the ACDC 12C. Alright, 
before we set our last six panels, just making sure our wire management is nice, and strong, and so secure, and supported. Strong, secure, and supported. Good old Unistrat. See if we can zoom in and see what these gents are up to here. So we just want to support these home runs before they go through the roof. I don't know if you can see that or not. When Johnny lost his hammer, Lord, you should have seen his face. Last panel going down on roof number one. What a beautiful day. Nice job site. Sometimes solar and it's just plain old fun. Nice looking array. It's looking good. Get this roof cleaned up and we'll transition over to the other roof which is standing seam and we'll go to the ace clamps. All right, we are getting on a, on a roll here on day four. Rains are coming, so we better have 42, 50 panels to put on this roof today. 50. Axitec 310s going on this roof today because the rain's coming. One down, one to go. And they're boogieing on this house. We've been fun, having fun watching these contractors. We've had the electricians, the framers, the plumbers, the geothermal guys all crashing this at the same time. Really awesome, awesome new place. Looking forward to seeing everything working. We, we're allowed to be part of this process of helping the homeowner and the contractor design the power, the heating and the cooling, the domestic hot water well. All, all of those um, parts of the infrastructure, we were able to be uh, hopefully pretty influential and helpful to him. And again, if you're about to do a new construction project and would like to work with us, we'd like to work with you. It's always good to get in from the ground level. We're setting the last panel, the solar array, on this barn. This is the southwest facer. Over there is the southeast facing then we're looking at doing a pico blender in this one by eight array. That'll be the last eight panels. So 42 in this group, 42 over there, and eight more here. And it's a race. Rain's coming. So we're good. This is phase one. We've never done a job like this, but this has been fun. What we're doing phase one is to get all the solar mounted down to disconnects, like you can see over there. So everything will be landed and turned off the voltage checked and then we need to trench from here and we're right in here is the um, just below grade we have two three inch conduits going through into the mech room so we're going to take one through here and then one's going to come up the back side over here we've got uh, our weather head here and we're coming down to a gutter on the outside and then we'll trench over right into the mech room. So two two inch runs, and we'll be bringing 28.5 kW into the house. 